Hey, Andrea. Hey, friends. Um, <laughs> I said I was going to try and get everyone on a video this season. Amanda, right? uh, you're here in London still, I believe. So anyway, we're here for episode, episode 11. You were traumatized. Yeah, I've been in mourning. I've been in mourning since Thursday, hence inviting you over for cake. It's very good cake, carrot cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, shall we get into it? Let's because do it. there's a bit of business to take care of today as well. So, this game rips your heart out. We started off right at the start. We had Emily being celebrated for her triumphant manipulation of the last tribal when Bruce said bye bye. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was. She should have kept her mouth closed. Mm. That was. Um... That was a bad move telling it. She should have saved that for the jury for her final moment. Yeah, and also there was, I thought there was a lot of heavy emphasis in the edit on uh, on Austin's immunity idol that Julie had. Yeah. Which I thought gave us too much obvious clues as to what was going to go yeah, on later true, on. Yeah, true, true. So... But how does that happen? Like, why... How can you give someone your idol and then not give it back to you? Like, yeah. how can she hold on to it? I just think that's like... Bad, I mean, bad move on her. That's part. between them. I mean, the survivor can't put rules on. So you must. Yeah, that's totally up to them. It's like again, it's trust. Um, but why? I'd give it back. Like I'm that kind of would, person that would give yeah. it back. Why is she holding on to it? Yeah. Now we know. And there was no confrontation between them. So no. hey, give me my I want yeah. my ball back. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but that was a thing. Then the showman's. Uh, we got a flashback. You know, to Robin Amber. So uh, all the feels <laughs> is like, hey, we've been around for years. That but that footage looked very twenty years old, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. I don't think that. I to be honest, I don't think that D is as into it as Austin is. Yeah, I well, feel like she can like she's like a female spider. She's gonna like have sex with him and then eat him. Right. Yeah. I could never be a spider. Number <laughs> one, I'm scared of them. But number two, you know, it's hard enough to get one leg over, let alone eight. But you know, <laughs> uh, but sure. Uh, but if we, if we actually, I was going to say this later on, but if we fast forward to later on in the episode when uh, Austin actually blabbed to D yeah. about the plan with Julie, move, then nice already yeah. the cracks are showing I wouldn't be planning your wedding just yet, no, uh, Austin. No. That just, yeah, I don't know. I was really disappointed with that move. Mm. I just thought that was like an amateur survivor move. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. then Emily went on a journey. She went away. She came back with nothing. Nothing. Poor thing. I, I, I felt sorry for her when she got that. She didn't want it. Mm. She didn't want to go. But I think they were kind of like, Jake was the only one who was putting up his hand and I think everyone else was like, no, Jake's not going. So that's why they did the, really drew the rocks. It. Yeah, I thought that was really lame as well. It's like if more than one person wants to go, then surely only those people that want to go should uh, go in. But it's yes, not like everyone true. put their bloody... Uh, took a rock when it should have only been like if only three people wanted to go just have those three people yes exactly that would have made a lot more sense so. and give them an easier challenge like emily should have gotten an easier puzzle i mean Do she it. made the decision pretty pretty quickly didn't she i'm not doing it but it's Getting also reached the stage where people would kind of know what to expect from the journey and even if you say nothing happened i got nothing nobody believes you yeah, anyway exactly exactly at least get a burger out of it yes yeah yeah, she didn't even get a burger. No. She's got to keep her vote. Anyway. Yeah, that was a lame little side journey. Yeah, no, I wasn't, wasn't a fan. Uh, so we then went into the barbecue reward and the immunity challenge. Um, personally, I thought this was a comedic display of incompetence from yes. every single person on that playing field. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give yourself more rope. Yeah. Just keep going until you've almost got no rope. Yep. There's no point in going back again. And, That's how I would play. And Austin was ready to win, but he didn't pay attention to the front side. And Jeff, I counted three times. Jeff yep. said, yep. he needs to read the same both sides. He didn't once look at no, the front. No, no. Yeah, it's yeah. rampant incompetence. And they, they talked about it afterwards. Jeff said, why didn't you listen to me? He's like, I was in the zone. It's like, no, nah, you weren't. No, you, you weren't, weren't. actually you really that were. much in the zone. Opposite of the zone. There's but, no, like, there's no... Really good challenge beast in this season. No, there really isn't. No. no. Put them underwater in that cage thing. That's where you see. That's where you really <laughs> test their metal. You know, survive, drown, or don't. <laughs> you know, Poor is going to have a hard time with that one. Oxygen is your reward. <laughs> you know, it's immunity and oxygen. Um, but yeah, Drew took out the immunity there mm. and took the boys club. 
for for barbecue. I was pretty stoked with his win, to be honest. Mm-hmm. The when they do win this season, though, they get they get very emotional. I do. Too emotional? No, I don't no. think so. I think because they they don't expect to win. I don't think a lot of them think that they're going to be. Yeah. They've, they haven't come into it thinking that they're going to be a challenge beast. All yeah. the challenge beasts are kind of gone now. Yeah. At least we're not rolling our eyes. Oh, 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 of course, Drew won again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew won again. Wow, go Napoleon. And we almost got another boys montage, didn't we? We did, but yeah. we've, already, we've already burnt the montage for yeah. the season. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then did the girls having a montage. Well, they did. They basically put them in the water, having a spa bath, giving themselves mm. sand um, scrubs. So then we got back to camp, and Mm -hmm. oh, there was was one other thing. There there, there was that's right. So we had that drama of uh, a plan to vote out Julie, and I was oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let's keep it a secret. Sure, I'm going to tell the person I'm falling in love with. Yeah, bad move. Um, And Dee is already kind of coasting. You know, she's mate. She's been been in that four. Yeah. And now she's got her lover. Mm Hmm. I just feel like she's done no big moves. Like, she's going to have to... But she'll get to the end. You wait. No, she won't get any votes, though. Will exactly. She? But that's like... It'll be between two people who don't have jury udder on their side. All the people we love are going. Yeah. Well, Julie, I think, you know, smartly... Well, obviously smartly, played Austin's Idol... And Emily got voted out on. Now, this frustrated the. Fu- uh, no, yeah. no, you tell your things your first because you've just lost your final member in Emily. What was your thoughts? I was so pissed off. I was sad because I feel like she's a good she's a good player. We could all see her going towards the end. I think, um, not just because she's mine. I think there's been a lot of people. I also listened to an interview with her, and she said that. All throughout this season, people have been coming up to her going, can't wait for you to win. Can't wait. And she's had to kind of like pepper it down and kind of just go like, oh, I feel like I've let people down. Mm. And she kind of did. She did. She made a few like bad moves, I think, but particularly that one telling them about she was behind the Bruce um, vote. But to yeah. me, she, she, she was always, she's the unpopular kid who always got picked on in school, who never quite found the the perfect formula of being accepted yeah. and being successful. Yeah. Um, sure, she may have watched Season of Survivor before. I think Emily was still doing the best she could and was trying to improve. Her social game. She was really concentrating on yeah, that. Yeah, she really yeah. was. She, she was a person who was really trying to focus on self-improvement. Yeah. And it's hard to get right in, what, bloody 27 days? No. Uh, what mm. really pissed me off about that, though, was this, she, again, incompetence of the fact that Everyone knew Julie had Austin's idol. Wasn't a secret. There was no plan B. Every single person voted for Julie. There was no plan B. What yeah, she plays an yeah. idol? Julie votes for Emily. She's gone. I don't think Emily didn't know that Julie had an idol. But there was still enough people to know. To know. And yet yeah, they all they voted for her split. regardless. They didn't split. Yeah, yeah. There was no discussion of a plan B. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was like at the start. It was Julie. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, no, I thought it was a really. I thought pissed Julie. Me. Julie should have made a massive move and just voted Austin off. Like, hmm? more power to her. She would have just been like, I don't know, that just grown in the jury's eyes, really, with that yeah. move. On that note, though, uh, Austin's uh, amulet expires this coming week. So yeah, he can play yeah. with the final six. So yeah. he will True. be using that if he doesn't win immunity. So he is into the final, we know that. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, unless he does something ridiculously stupid, which I could actually believe. Do you reckon he wrote out D? I'd love to see that. Oh, that would, <laughs> that would, be, deli- that would be delicious. I feel like, yeah. Delicious. Yeah, that would be great. All right. So, we have tree mail. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Andrea hasn't seen this yet. Is. Tree mail. The final episode and final immunity challenge is less than two weeks away. Now is the time to lock in who you think will win that crucial last challenge. Place your bet publicly on who you think will win that challenge before episode 12 airs this week. If your castaway gets voted out in episode 12, then you are out of the running for the $20 prize. However... If you are still in, if you are still in for the final episode, you may choose to change your bet after episode twelve has aired. Oh, that's a good one. 
So, what do you reckon? <laughs> do I have to say now? No, you don't have to say now, oh, but okay. uh, yeah, how do you think that'll mix things up? Yeah, no, I like this, like, being able to change business. As you've already said, yeah. we don't have a challenge B, so we can't just calmly say, well, we know it's going to yeah. be Drew yeah. again, because we don't know. No. It's not been that kind of predictable season. No. Sweet. What if Austin wins and then gives his idol to D? Oh my God. Mm. Oh, gross. Okay, just, just for clarity, all right, if that is the case, for example, if someone bets for Austin and yeah. gives it to D, whoever votes for Austin still wins yeah. because that is the actual bet. He actually won immunity in that circumstance, yeah. okay? Yeah. Just to be clear. Okay, cool, yeah. So we could actually lose some people if they act wrongly. And this is a public vote as well. We're not doing this in secret. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. How do you guys feel when someone else picks your player and then you have to... I always feel like I should pick someone different. It's like when you go out and you have dinner and you like can't order the same as the yeah. person next to you. I find, for, for example, of course, you know, for example, you know, Denise is my sister and I love her very much. But in the early episodes, I don't, I, I feel a bit guilty if I'm going to place a bet which like, oh, one of Denise's players are going to be yeah, out. But yeah. by, by episode two or three or four, you know, like we've got a relationship with these players and we've got opinions as like that goes out the window. <laughs> well, I'd like to know who everyone thinks is going to win now that Emily's gone. Because I think Emily was kind of... Now, before, uh, we're going to take a look at the money board, which looks like this. And what I will say is, if you add up all that money that is on that board there, we do have $20 on offer for this uh, final immunity bet. There's $40 that is unaccounted for. Oh. That's interesting. See you next week. Oh, what's the plan, Mac?